Hello friends, it's so good to speak to you again over our weekly devotion. And this morning I want to touch on something out of the book of Matthew, chapter 3. And so this is the part where John the Baptist uh, makes ready to baptize multitudes of people because he's now preparing for Jesus to come so that he can baptize Jesus. But a very interesting thing plays off because John is standing there ready to baptize people and it says many people came and came and came and they all wanted to be baptized because they say this is, this is how we want to show we, we repent. We turn away from our sinful lives and we turn to God. And what is interesting is for every single person coming, John just baptized. He was okay. He just said, repent, turn to God, repent, turn to God. And then two groups of people came, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And then all of a sudden, John said, no, wait a minute. I, I don't want to go here. Why? He said, who warned you, you brood of vipers? And then he made a comment in verse 8. He said, go away, live in such a way that it will prove your heart. It will prove that you repented of your ways and that you turned to God. So what is interesting here, people out of the world, normal sinners came to John and he was just ready to baptize them to repent. And then the, the holy bunch came. Those wanting to show that they're okay, wanting to perform as if they are perfect, they wanted to be baptized. He said, wait a minute, I will much rather take my chance on someone coming to me in a real way, coming out of a sinful life, wanting to turn and return to God and to take it on people, pretending that they're serving God, pretending that they are part of the way, pretending that they love Jesus. They put up a big show, they perform, but the moment you close the doors behind them, or when they leave your sight and they go into the world, they live as if they are part of the world. And then John said, go away, now prove with your life. May your life be in tune with the fruit of your repentance. Friends, today I just want to encourage you. I think this is so, so clear. Many, many people run away from church, from the body of Christ, because you hear something on a Sunday, we hear certain things, and then we find it difficult to translate what we hear into our lives. And I don't think it's because the Bible is difficult, it's because of a lack of effort, because of, of, of not wanting to. We just carry on. But I want to encourage you, take Jesus, take what He did for you, really open your heart, say, my Lord, I love you so much. Please change my heart, because I am convinced as one of one of all of us just living a life i'm convinced that if you really open your heart to what jesus is doing for you every day you lean into that this love of jesus this grace of jesus will compel you to just live better no performance not to prove anything right but just say my lord i want to please you i want to live a life worthy of you because of what you did for me and it's when we get from, to that place and when we live from this place in here that people around you will experience Jesus. And you know what will happen? Circles and circles and circles and circles will, will form. Church will be built. Kingdom will be enlarged or manifested in your area. Why? Not because of a great Sunday church. We need our Sunday morning sermons. We need encouragement. We need teaching. We need edifying. But it's when we go from there and we love Jesus that the difference will be. Let's go out. Let's live Jesus in such a way that people will see we are real people loving a real God, a real Jesus, and He empowers us. So be blessed. Go out and live to the fullest. Thank you. Till next week.